Good morning, hikers, couch potatoes, and everybody in between. Today is day four. Got great sleep last night. Did a little bit of tent surfing still. I just haven't found that perfect flat spot yet, so I'm sure my neighbors were a little concerned as I was rolling around last night. Probably felt like I was doing somersaults in my sleeping bag. But several hours at a time, got some good sleep. Feeling really rested right now. My legs are still sore. But overall, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like this hike up and over Blood Mountain is probably going to kick my ass. But then again, that's all we have to do today. So, up early today, it's about 7.30. It's about 50 degrees. And uh, we're going to get we're gonna get going a little early this morning. So we can try to take advantage of the afternoon. Get some cold, uh, get some warm food, warm shower. Get to bed for the night. And then see what we're doing for the next... So stay tuned for that craziness. Hello again. It is just a little past an hour after I've woken up and I'm the only one left, which is okay. So water sources are a little sketchy coming up on this mountain. So I'm gonna camel up as best as I can. Probably just hike with a liter of water. Gerard Gap should have a strong flow. Or we've got uh, some other options along the way, but uh, they might not be flowing so good. So I'll probably camel up now and then get into uh, get into this climb with not a lot of water. And then halfway up, I think there's a water source. So kind of trickling along, trickling along the way up the mountain slowly, and I will show you what I see along the way. Just to give you an idea. All these tent sites were taken. Multiple tents last night. Lots of people. Lots of people, but this place is really cool. So, I enjoyed it. Just a few minutes after leaving camp, did a nice little ascent and now, we have a generous little up and down, nothing too crazy to Gerard Gap. And then the big hike begins. Hello again. Been on trail for just less than two hours. Gerard Gap is nearby, according to Far Out app. So I am going to put on long sleeve shirt instead of the short sleeve shirt so I don't keep my sunburn to a minimum. I'm gonna get some ibuprofen, electrolytes, and eat a little food. So far so good. My legs are sore. Wow they're sore. But uh, I am also feeling pretty good. Um, of course I'm only going on a slight decline right now so this is lovely. Of course, the big hike will begin. Uh, I'm not sure if Blood Mountain's in front of me or where it is. There's a big ominous mountain in front of me. So we shall see. I'll keep you posted. So again, just left Gerard Gap a few minutes ago. Tough little hike out of there. So I'd like to talk to y'all on the downhill or when it's flat so I'm not huffing and puffing. But... Still out here, huffing and puffing. So, got about 4.7 miles left on the hike today. It's uh, 11.30, so at a mile an hour, I'll be getting in to mountain crossings around 4.30, somewhere around there. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be... A little shorter day, go ahead and get a cabin or something, some sort of accommodation. And uh, yeah, you know, we'll see what's available, see what's going on, get some pizza either way. And uh, hell yeah, right on. Just stopping at the water source here next to Woods Hole Shelter. Got this amazing little 
stream here. This goes right down the mountain. Great flow here. I'm gonna get some water. This is the trail. In case you were wondering how much fun it is. And then you go up there and around. Up these rocks. I made it. Top of Blood Mountain. Blood Mountain shelter behind me. Got some day hikers I think showing up here. Well, we're gonna show you this. Cause this is why we hike. And I hope it will convey. You know you're up in a high elevation when you see these different kind of trees. It's just kind of neat to see. There's some grass up here. Some stone right here is the actual path that I'm taking. I am on the toppus. Toppus. I am on the highest point of Georgia right now. Blood Mountain. Check. Just got to survive the 2.3 mile decline. All right, we're coming up to a, a view here. It's going to be a good one. I'm trying to get there quick without slipping and falling. Ah! Getting into some bushes. I'll tell you what, guys. Coming out here and hiking, it's really tough, but it's so mental. My big body carrying myself up here means that you can do it too. I don't mean to be super inspirational, but uh, let's see. Hope y'all can see that. Oh, there's a good spot. There's a good spot. Check this out. Oh. Oh yeah. Just look at it. Hello again. So I was kind of in a bit of a mood, I guess. I wanted to get off of Blood Mountain, so I didn't show too much of it. A lot of rock scramble. Just a lot of high impact on your knees, steps, and things like that. It wasn't the worst. And now it's actually smoothed that for us just a little bit, thankfully. My legs are barking. Oh boy. I'd be real glad to get my shoes off. Get a hot shower tonight, get some food, all the things. So we're about a less than a mile away from Neil Gap. And uh yeah, doing good. And uh hiking. I see it. I can hear cars. I can see the building. I'm almost at mountain crossings. Just want to show you the hikers. Drop off your pack and enjoy mountain crossings. Just gonna do a little walk through here. Got the trees with the shoes. My shoes will not be going on those trees. But we can show you a little bit of this. All of these shoes in this tree. I came from right over there, and then the trail actually goes through this building on the other side of there. Got a pizza in the oven right now with my name on it, and I'm excited and ready for it. Might be the end of the video, I might do a little pros and cons later, but I'll be getting into the cabin, getting cleaned up, and doing some massive relaxation, so not much more to show, but then again, I might let you know what I'm thinking later. It's pretty early still, so plenty of time left in the day to do something ridiculous. Good morning. So this is kind of an interesting time to end this video. However, got in kind of a little late last night after doing everything. I am at the squirrel 
version of the cabins here. There are many cabins, about 12 of them. Anyway, real quick to wrap it up from yesterday. So my pro was gonna be probably just making it up and over Blood Mountain. It was just a really nice feeling to be able to conquer that. Uh, the con, unfortunately, I did hurt myself a little bit, as you can see. So I ended up basically kind of getting just slightly off trail at the top of Blood Mountain. And there were some day hikers there. So I heard them talking and I said, are you on trail? And they said, yes. Unfortunately, from where I was versus them, which was only a few feet, but I kind of rushed it through a little game trail and scrape my leg on some brambles. So not a big deal. I didn't fall, uh, thankfully. So, and coming down off of Blood Mountain was, was definitely as tough as everybody says it is. That first quarter mile, it's a rock scramble. I'd use my hands and feet sometimes, just kind of navigating. So it was all part of the thing though too. So I enjoyed it. Anyway, had some great conversation with the folks here. Um, we might end up becoming a little tramly actually as we're starting to play in the next few days. So. Today, now, is going to be a, uh, a zero for us. I'll do probably a very short video for that. I do want to show people what our, uh, what hikers do on a zero. I haven't seen many videos of that, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, talk to you all soon. Bye.